PCOS athlete. Now today I'm going to take you through a balanced workout. No equipment's needed because quite a lot of time I'm on the road traveling and I've got to do my workouts in a hotel room. So this is the kind of thing I do when I'm on the road. Now balance and proprioception, super important for us as skiers because we're constantly on moving different terrain and we're landing big crazy jumps. So making sure we've got that balance within our little joints so we are ready for anything which is going to be thrown at us. So first things first, we're going to do some ballet taps with some single leg deadlifts with arm reaches. So I'll take you through those exercises. All the way through this, because we're working out balance, I want you to think about your core. So make sure you've got your, your pelvis tucked under, almost like you're doing up your belt, and keep that locked on the whole way through. That'll definitely make it easier for you. Okay, so nice soft knee on the leg, which is gonna be on the ground. And you're just gonna tap the toe to the front, to the side, to the back, back to the side, back to the front. Now that's one set. To make it a little bit more difficult, I'm going to make a little bit of a knee dip, making sure that that knee is going over the second toe and it's not going too far over. And to make it even more difficult, I'm going to reach with that toe as far as you can, keeping that balance. You should feel this in the glute. If you do that on one side three times and then you switch to the other leg and do it on the other side. Next exercise, straight in to the single leg deadlift. Okay, so I don't want you to bend and hinge at the waist. I want your shoulders to come down and your legs to come out up at the same time. So hand down, in the center. That's our first point with our hands. And then we're gonna move it to the right. Three times there. And across the left three times there. If that's a little bit too difficult to keep that balance on that single leg, we can do it with two feet. And what I want you to do is pretend that you've got an open door behind you and you're actually just closing the door with your bum and that'll give you the right technique. So again, just with one hand down to the middle three times. Nice soft knees, let's not lock them out too much. Cross the right three times and again to the left. We again repeat that on both sides, so you're using both legs. So you've got those two exercises, you're going to do them three sets of those two exercises. Straight into our next exercise now, which is our lunge sequence. Now as a skier, we don't always just do things straight down the hill, we're constantly going from left to right as well. So this sequence is what we call a clock lunge. So it'll go out to the front first, 12 o'clock, out to two o'clock, to nine o'clock, to five o'clock, to six o'clock, to seven o'clock, to nine o'clock, to 11 o'clock, and back to the middle. And we're gonna repeat that three times round, then switch, and we're gonna go on the left. If it's too difficult, just go into less of a lunge. Just don't lunge as far. If it's easy, put the hands above the head, just to make it a little bit more difficult for your balance. So it's gonna be three times round, switch legs, and then you're gonna repeat that three times, no rest between. Our third set of exercises is gonna be with a squat. You need a chair for this one. You've got your chair, and we're going to just do a single leg squat. So lift the front leg up, down to the chair, and back up. I'm going to repeat this eight times. If that's a little bit too difficult, just control it down and use your hands to help you up. Remember, to really keep in control when you're doing this. Since we've done eight on either leg, then we're gonna move into the next exercise. Again, if you wanna make it more difficult, you can bring a little hop at the top control. 
bring it down to a squat, hop at the top and control. Once you've done that, we're going to go straight into a single leg hold. One leg in front of the other, nice soft knee. That's pretty easy for everyone. Close the eyes. I'm just going to hold that 30 seconds. See if you can keep that balance for 30 seconds. Nice strong in the middle. I'll make it easy for you. Now if that's easy again, you can pass something around your waist and that will really challenge your balance. Then you're going to switch and do that same thing on the other side, closing the eyes, moving the arms around to make it a little bit more difficult. And the third exercise in this little trio is our plank with our hip roll. So get your plank, nice solid position, straight line from the shoulders to the hips, all the way to the ankle, and you're just gonna move the hips from side to side, just to add, challenge yourself a little bit more. So we're gonna do 16 of these. Try not to, when you do that move from side to side, try not to let it all floppy in the middle, keeping it nice and solid, side to side. Now that one replicates kind of the skiing quite a lot for us. We want to have a nice, strong, solid core and let our legs work independently for ourselves. So that was the third set of exercises you've got. The single leg squat with a hop, if that's too easy for you, into the single leg hold, eyes shut, into the plank with the side hip rolls from side to side. Okay, so we're on to session. We're on to section number four, which is going to be a little bit of upper body and a little bit more core. It's going to be your classic press up with a little core movement. So make it simple, hands on the chair, press up, knee to the side, press up, knee to the side, press up, knee to the side. To challenge yourself a little bit, just a regular press up on the floor. Press up, knee to the side. Press up, knee to the side. And for those who want to really challenge themselves, you're going to put your feet onto the chair. Hands flat down. You're going to do your press up and knee through. Press up, foot through. And then straight into Russian twist. Start with your feet on the floor. Roll back a little bit, making sure your core's turned on. Twist from side to side. Gonna do 16 of those. If that's too easy, lift the feet. Too easy still, grab yourself a water bottle and use that as a weight. So for the fourth section, we'll go our press up of core, we're going to do eight of those, straight into our Russian twist, we'll do 16 and we'll repeat that again three times. Now our final, final section of the workout is going to be our little finisher. So we're going to start off with some side lunges. We do these three exercises straight after each other. So it's a sideways lunge. Got one, two, back to centre, three, four, going to do ten of these, five, six, and then we're going to go into a side jump hold. The hold is the important bit. There's ten. Hold. Oh, there it is. Check your balance. Hold. Ten of these. We're really starting to check our balance now. Make the jumps wider if it's easy for you. Ten from side to side. 
and then straight into our skater jumps, 20 of these. Get the heart rate up. Okay, so that's your finisher. You're gonna do that three times. That will really get the heart rate up. And everything today really is testing your balance, so hope you enjoy it. Cheers.